we have in the hemisphere. What's that? But I'm just showing you, oh. that's the bottom half of what used to be a total windmill structure. Welcome to the north of Barbados. Place, yeah, I've, I've been to a lot of places and it, this is my favorite. Oh, sure. right. yeah. All People right. are great. And, uh -huh. Yeah. South Africa, Kenya, Ghana, any, anything like that, Nigeria, anything like that. Because if you look over to our right, that is looking onto the North Atlantic side of the island. Protein. Try the mobby. It's like medicine. <laughs> this is um, this flower here. Yeah. This is the pride of Barbados, our national flower. I'm super excited because in this episode, we shall be exploring driving around the whole country of Barbados. Ooh, wow, I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. I'm going to give you a raw and filtered experience from the south to the west, to the north, to the east, and then driving back to the south. This will show us the other side of Barbados as well as see what the countryside of Barbados looks like. In the previous episode, we explored the south with the world's best tour guide, Glenn and Rosita. We covered the National Hero Square, Downtown Bridgetown, Garrison Savannah, Rihanna Drive, which hosts the house where Rihanna grew up and so many other places. Make sure you watch that episode. In this episode, we continue to the west of the country. Did you know that the circumference of Barbados is about 100 kilometers or 70 miles with a land area of 169 kilometers square? Barbados is 34 kilometers long and 14 kilometers at its widest. Well, time to explore further west so buckle up as this is going to be a long scenic adventurous drive let's do this the more expensive one okay i would love oh I would you got love this in kenya right coconuts. here am i right I would coconuts love to have some. Oh, I, would, I would want some coconuts oh, but they're everywhere on the sunday so stopping for coconut juice break here in barbados Oh yeah, I want everything. Three bottle water. Three coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> I want to bless you with three bottles. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let me get away before you chop me up. Bring straws. Uh, bring straws. You want them? Open them. Yes, thanks. My favorite. Walk out so I don't Here we go. Do you want straw? Awesome. Yeah, straw, straw. some straw. straw. Yeah. She got some? Let me put one here. Thank you. Ooh. So refreshing. Best coconut car in the world. Here yeah, is found in Barbados. <laughs> and where are you located exactly? Down here is Black Rock. Black bottom Rock. Of, bottom of University Hill. Bottom of University Lane. Hill, 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 hill. Alright, alright. We have the best coconut cutter in the world over there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> From Barbados to the world. <laughs> Oh, um, take home some jelly take home jelly <laughs> loving the tropical vibes <laughs> can I show you something sure my market is there your market oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you must get that 
I got it. Do you have it already? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's my market down there. Next to the petrol station here. Do you call them petrol stations or yes. gas stations? We say petrol or gas. We normally say gas stations. Though. Gas station, that's American. I guess. Because I think you... We were also colonized by the British and I feel like most times we say pavement, we don't say sidewalk. Like we can say that but mostly like it's pavement. We say sidewalk. That's American. Is diesel more costly in Kenya than gasoline? What? Diesel is cheaper than... than Here too. Yeah. But not so in the US. Oh, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. Loving this, I feel so like the thing about this coastline, right? Yeah, is whereas we don't have private beaches, yeah, how do you get to the beach? Access and that's the problem. So, we have unless you walk, you use like such places, so like we have these special areas that the authorities uh -huh. call public uh -huh. access. I'm going to show you what they look like. Okay. So there are hotels and all kind of houses and stuff being splashed because this is about tourism, right? Our yeah. number one industry. I'm so going to give you an example, one or two, and then that's it. About here, here's an example. Okay. See, it says here the red arrow, public access to beach. Okay, public I'm access. I'm gonna slow down. Okay, let's see the public access. That's the access right there. All right. We just passed it. Oh, that's that's. Uh, I'm just showing you. So oh, tell me it is. Yeah. Behind you. Yeah, I saw it something narrow. You no. Oh, you should have stopped us. Oh, that's a fast cancel. Yeah, the, 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 the narrow path. I'm just right. making the point that yeah. although we have you cannot use such? public, oh, that's Stephen, look. Although we have public beaches, yeah. you may not think that the beaches on this course are public because there are so many hotels. <laughs> Pretty much like home. We also have public uh, public access that are like just some parts. Yeah, like this is a pretty good public access here. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. But we have some that are ridiculous. All right. Uh. They got some that are so ridiculous they're almost non-existent actually. Oh, thank you. But all these areas of the country is where the ocean is friendly. And this is why we have virtually all the hotels yeah. on the west here and the south. There's virtually zero. I'm not saying there are none, but there are almost no hotels at all on the northeast. Northeast, the water is rough. That's because the ocean up there is very different. This is the Caribbean Ocean? It's all the, it's all the Atlantic. It's not the Caribbean Ocean at all. Oh, okay. We are not in the Caribbean Sea. Caribbean Sea, I man. And that's one of the tricks about Barbados. We are just outside the Caribbean Sea. We're in the, we're in the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic. So, we're in the west side right now. I'm sorry? We're so in the west, yeah. The west? The rich places, yeah, the, the expensive, the wealthy neighborhoods. Yeah. So I'm going to give you one or two areas that would demonstrate why this area is called platinum or gold or bougie. Okay. Yeah. And some of these areas look very normal at the entrance, not before. But when you get in... See, look at this. Public access, right? I'm going to stop. Where oh. is it? Where is it? Oh, there's no access. That's my point. It's there. It's closed. Oh, it's this. Wow, there's See a what tree. I'm so I'm just showing you. you know, but yeah, if you're a tourist, you have all this access to the beach, right? Because you're staying in the hotels. So it, so it would appear as though the beach is private, but it's not. As long as you're on the beach, no hotel can tell you you're on their property. You remember that? Yeah. Right? So if you access that path, you got you the can, entire beach. You can hang out anywhere in front of the hotel, and they cannot move you. Yeah, that's like Kenya too. But there's a. You can't go to there. They, there's a, a space for everybody, and then there's a place where they put the beds where you can't go. Like it's a bit raised, so you can't go into their property. Well, even where they have the beds, we can walk. 
because once it's sand, we can walk, even if their beds are open. Now here is oh. one of the reasons we are called Platinum. This restaurant coming up, it's called The Cliff. This restaurant. See, it says The Cliff right here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the very cliff. small. Yeah. But listen to this. Uh -huh. Now, before COVID-19 came along and the world shut, yeah. this restaurant was rated number 13 in the world. Really? It has a special rating called two Michelin stars. Ooh. Now, as a musician, I played there for what we call Old Year's Night in Barbados. You may call it New Year's Eve. Uh -huh. And when I was there, one plate of dinner that night was 1,500 US dollars. Really? One plate of dinner. They were wow. serving a cognac. It was a cognac. It was uh -huh. one of those alcoholic. One shot was 300 US, all right? Is it because of the location? It's just because of the... The name, the, the brand. The name, the brand. Uh -huh. It's ridiculous. It and the people sense. that go there. The average person would Karibu. Karibu means welcome in Kiswahili. Yeah, I've just seen that place written Karibu. So you would have seen where Rihanna was born in a very low income area. Yeah. Now you're going to see that she's a billionaire. Yeah. Where she has one of her other places that she can stay when she comes here. So she has property oh, in yeah. the island. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some of them, I'm not even sure if I know where they are, but uh -huh. I know about this one for sure. So what you're going to see coming out on the left. Yeah. It is one building, but it has eight uh, condominiums. You know what I mean? This one? This one? Which one? I'm going to show you. Oh, not, oh okay. There. I thought we were oh, there already. It's eight. So when you look at this building, yeah, I want you to count eight condos. That's all there are. Okay. And one of these eight condos belongs to Rihanna. Okay. If you want, you can look up on YouTube uh -huh. her interview with Oprah Winfrey and Rihanna discussing what you are about to see. Okay. I'm going to slow down. You can have a good look at it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask you to guess what one of these eight condos went on sale for. Look at this. This place? There are only eight condos in this entire building. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, of course, the palm trees are blocking it. These are royal palms. Oh, one sandy lane. Yes, it's called one and the one makes a difference. It's not sandy lane. You'll see that shortly. Oh, okay. So, see uh, this? so there are eight condos in here. One eight. million dollars, maybe. How many you think for one? Maybe one million dollars. One million? Come on. 22 million US. 22 million US. For each. For each? Yes. And that's where Rihanna has one of her properties. All right, so now we're going to see Sandy Lane. Now hers is called One, one. Sandy Lane. Yeah. So this is Sandy Lane. This is the actual resort. Now, hotels are normally rated in stars, right? Yeah. You have one star, two stars. Sandy Lane, you cannot use stars. You have to <laughs> use diamonds. Oh. So it's five okay. diamonds. Five diamonds. Not stars, diamonds. Now this has the biggest golf course in the Caribbean. 45 holes. So wait, that's a one sandy lane. Does Rihanna the own the entire place or one of the properties? Sorry? Rihanna that, has one of the condos, okay. just one. But it was built by the owners of Sandy Lane. Now you enter here oh. on both sides. On my right, when and the gates are closed, you're going to like the rooms and a couple of villas. On my right, you're going to the golf course and the majority of villas. Oh, oh okay. So this is the resort. Yeah, it looks this normal. Resort, right? on the left. The resort is on the left, the golf, golf course, course and the villas on the right. So it's one of the most expensive? Oh yeah. The most expensive. It's the, the most, oh, maybe, the maybe in the Caribbean. Oh, okay. Some of these rooms were like 7,000 US per night, stuff like that. Cheapest That's per night. The cheapest, she heard, cheapest, the is? very cheapest the is cheapest 700 US per night. per night in the off season. In the off season? Yes, yeah. and there's a villa in there that goes at 25. I think it's 35. I hear 25. This one here? US. This one here? Yes, by Tabor. I wore it there, remember? Oh, Very expensive. This villa. This is one of the owner's residence here, along with a villa inside. Are the owner's bedroom? 
No. British, Irish. British and Irish. Uh, British, three Irish. So we pass two owners already. The third, the third owner lives through here. Wow. So three owners. That's a beautiful place. So this area is called Whole Town when we go far. I like going past this. So Holton is where the first settlers came to Barbados, 1627, according to history. Holton. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, it's called Holton because of three stories. One mm -hmm. story says that when the first people were coming here, we're talking to Europeans, because obviously there were humans here before. Yeah. But when they were coming here, the Europeans, they came through a storm and they thought they were going to die. Uh -huh. When they landed here, they called it Holy Ground, hence they call it Whole Town. That's one story. Okay. Uh -huh. The other story is, remember in those days it was King James who was the king of the entire British Empire. Yeah. So it was called Kingstown, but there are so many Kingstowns in the Caribbean mm -hmm. that to be unique, they settled on Whole Town. Now the third reason is the one that I think makes more sense. Uh -huh. We're going to pass a little hole. Uh -huh. where when the settlers came here I mean there was no airport there was no like seaport so the idea was how do you get into a small island that has no one you believe and you have to get in your big ship could not get in so they had to use a tiny little boat like a canoe or something yeah I'm going to show you the hole that they came through why it's called hole literally h-o-l-e town so here we are we have this celebration every February it's called the Hotong festival James. James Town, yeah. Right. So you, you know you didn't mention that. I said that, it, that King James was the first person. And it was called James Town. Did I say James Town? Mm -hmm. I said King Town. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was called James Town, but they said it was like there were 200 James Towns in the Caribbean, so they call it Whole Town as a. Uh, so here is like a, a kind of a commercial area, supermarkets and boutiques. So this is all part of the whole town and this is the monument here. Now the monument has some discrepancies on it. It says 1605. 1605 is not really correct. 1605 to 1905. Yes, 1605. Uh, we were actually settled in 1627, okay? Uh, they came in 1625 and we settled in 1625. Yeah, they came first to explore and they came back. 1605 is not really correct. I think they meant to put 1625. I don't know whether it is it wrong. Remember 1625 and all that. So here is where if you got money you want to shop, you come here. Butterfly. No. Lime Grove. So oh, Lime Grove. Yeah. I don't shop here at all. Why? Look at it. It's for the creme, well, mostly creme de la creme, the price. The Rihanna's. Look at the... Oh yeah, I see the designers. Yeah, I see Ralph the Lauren, yeah, Michael, Michael Kerr. Okay, if you look on the left, there used to be a book here on the ledge, but the book is gone. Uh -huh. There's a hole coming up. Oh yeah, there's a hole. That's where they came in, right there. Oh, okay. And it's been there since 1627, if the story is correct, all right? All right. Oh, you see, that's why it's also written Gemstown there. Yeah. yeah. So we have some of the oldest, so you saw the oldest Jewish synagogue, right? Yeah. Barbados has some of the oldest things, period. Not only the Jewish synagogue, I'm going to show you. The oldest church in Barbados, but it was built in 1629. Now remember, we were settled in 1627, so only two years later. Mm -hmm. It's St. James Parish Church, it's Anglican. Remember the Church of England? It's Christian. Here it is. I want to go too slowly. Ah, okay. St. James Parish. St. James Parish Church. The one here on my right though, okay? One, 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 one. Oh, okay. Oh, this one, this one. And you would discover that if you look at the building, the design, you call it Gothic, here they were yeah, before. Yeah. So that's the oldest architecture known to man. You have Gothic, you have, sorry, yeah. Gothic, Jacobean, Victorian, and Georgian. Mm -hmm. This is the oldest. Okay. So it's kind of quiet, so I'm not going to take this thought very loudly. Yeah, they are worshipping, it's a Sunday. And we are going to be going through where you'll see these special burial areas. What's your name was again, sorry? Lane. Lane, how do you spell that? 
L Y N N. Oh, Len. Okay. Yeah. It's your pronunciation. I thought it was L E I N or something. No. I'm okay, so Len, what do, you, what do you call the area here where these guys are buried? What do you call this? Uh, could be a cemetery it's or not a cemetery. tomb. Nope. I don't know. It's a graveyard. Graveyard. <laughs> yeah, it's a graveyard. You thought they were the same thing, right? I think cemetery, graveyard, nope. same thing. Nope. Nope. They're not. Okay, what's the difference? Cemeteries do not have churches. Okay. The so graveyard is the blessed or the consecrated grounds of a church. Remember that. All right. Thank so you. So you can bury anybody in a cemetery. cemetery. You cannot bury anyone at the graveyard. You must be of the church, of the denomination, and so mm. on. Uh -huh. If not, you can't be put in the graveyard. Actually, that brings a question. So here in Barbados, when somebody dies, they are buried at the cemetery, not at their homes. No, no cemeteries, yeah. That's not quite different. Family. Yeah, in Kenya, it's in your family compound. Yes. That's, that's cheaper. <laughs> So you have to pay for the cemetery every how you, year? How yes. do you control the, the standards? Like, how do you get your water out there? Like here in Barbados, the consideration is the water table. Mm -hmm. It's just six feet. Yeah, it's like six graveyards feet. don't go, no. Don't, no okay, no, like no. various standard. sites don't go deep. It's just six feet. It's standard six feet. Yeah. So that one doesn't get to the water table. But there are some areas in Barbados where you can't even go six feet because of how the water table is set up. You gotta oh. be careful, right? Because you may get contamination. <laughs> oh, okay. So although the body is six feet, it might seep further down than six feet. But what if the cemeteries get full? Well, I'm not sure if that ever happened yet. Um, you will. Uh, it's after every five years, I think, that you can go back into a grave. Five? Yeah, five or six. And you pay. Yeah, you. It's a pay thing. It's yeah. a pay thing. You pay for the full burial. It includes the grave. The funeral. Oh, it's very. Hey, it's very costly in Barbados. But so, even in a cemetery, yeah, you have private plots, so you can have a family plot where no one else can go and bury in that plot. So you pay for that plot every year. No, no, no. It's something that you pay for a one-time payment, and that's it. And that's it. Yeah. All right. So nobody else can bury. I'll get you a spoon when we get. It's okay. So the Royal Westmoreland here is another set of very expensive villas. We're not going up there. Oh, Royal oh, oh, this is part of the reason why this area is called Platinum. Because of the, because it's expensive. Yeah, it's, yeah, you don't have this kind of expensive stuff on the south where you're staying. It okay. doesn't get quite this costly, all right? Uh -uh. So how much would a house cost? Well, on uh, this, three on this bedroom. Course, it's a lot of money. Three bedroom house in this West course, Coast. Don't even discuss building a house on this course. It's too much money. And outside of the hotel, there are very private properties, like private villas and... A million dollars to buy one? Oh no, way more than that. Yeah. You're talking millions when you're on this course. Not the smaller homes, because we still have locals like ourselves. Yeah. Properties, you know, have the houses like, for instance, here. Like these ones, yeah. Yes, there are locals like ourselves. And we also see a couple of houses on the left because what happened is when Barbados became emancipated from slavery, uh huh, the British decided, okay, we have to pay for labor, so Barbados now became too expensive. So what they did is they allowed some of the slaves to have properties on this coast but remember in those days there was no tourism yeah it was all about sugarcane so the beach remember the beach you mm -hmm. can't grow sugarcane on the beach yeah this was not expensive land look see yeah like so, this so these people are these people did not sell their properties because they understand the value of property oh what would many happen times they would have been approached by wealthy yeah. people to and they said the no land. Yeah, I'm very sure, like, if someone wealthy can buy them off, if they want, the and ones then, who want the money. And they make a lot more money than they were, they yeah. bought, bought them for. These guys, but, they, they held on. But what's the point of holding on to property you cannot develop? Exactly. Like, what if, if I had property, like, here, and I'm not able to develop, I meet somebody, and then we go half-half. I tell them, don't pay me. 
or pay me a certain amount and I own certain amount of shares. But that all depends on your business, how smart you are in business. You see what I'm saying? Because then you yeah. can get enough money to build a property elsewhere yeah. and start business as well. Exactly. As you're not doing business here. Exactly. So what you can do is like, uh, uh, you pay me a certain amount and then I own a certain amount of oh, yeah. shares. Or what you can do is use your property here on the West Coast to open a business like a restaurant. Yeah. Because people like the rustic type restaurants. Ah. If you have a little rustic like hole, what we call hole in the wall place, yeah. people tend to want to go to those places. You know? Okay. But also what was happening is sometimes the people that have the money yeah. would go to government to force you off of your land. And here's how, how they would do it. Mm -hmm. They will do it through the land tax. So let's say the year in front you paid maybe five hundred dollars for your land tax. Mm -hmm. The next year it's four thousand dollars. What you gonna do? Which That's unfair. So then they're gonna run you off the land. That's unfair. That's what they do. That's when they have money. That's, That's why mean. money controls the world. That's so mean. But don't forget, if you can afford it, you'll spend it. But if you can't afford it and the land tax goes up, what you're going to do? They're going to tell you, okay, because of the hotels, the value of the property goes up. That's how they can force you off the land by using taxation. So you can use tax as a weapon. That's what they do. So there's no freehold property in this country. Every property, there's land tax to it. Yeah. You don't pay, like in Kenya, the freehold one, you pay once. When you're buying the property and that's it, you'll never pay so tax. So you don't pay every year? I'm no. sorry, we don't pay no. every year? No. Yes, for freehold, for freehold, you don't. For commercial or land on lease, yes, you'll pay. But for freehold, it's yours. We need to borrow some of these smarts from Africa, trust me. Because it makes life hard for everybody when you have to keep spending money all the time like that. It's ridiculous. That's why a lot of people in the diaspora are going back. Because they can't maintain. So you don't see this very often. Uh-huh. Notice when you say a, what we call a window to the sea, yeah. on this coast it's less than 10% because there are so many hotels and guest houses and apartments and the condominiums and all of that. So although we are on the coast line, you may not feel like you're driving on the coast given there are so many houses.
is another open window here. Uh -huh. You see how the, the sea actually has been pushed back a lot. There's not much sand anymore. Uh, it changes depending on the time of year. Oh. Sometimes you come here, there's lots of sand. Sometimes you come, there's lots of water and there's no sand at all. So many people on this side, like the south coast. No, the south coast is the busy coast. This is the well, we are no longer on the west, we are actually now in the north. We're in Not the yet. north, Not yet. we are approaching the north. We're like northwest. Oh. Where are we now? The great host. This is north, no way. Not yet. Right when does this uh, west end? The west end, when we get almost by um, what's called it? Little, 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 little Good Harbor. No. Spicetown is the north of the island. This is the harbor goes after uh, Spicetown. This is the north of the island. We're in as, St. Peter. That's called the North St. Lucy. No, no, no. We're we're currently in the north. Let me show you something, Lynn. St. Peter's Bay. Remember you saw the condos that Rihanna has, right? Yeah. Now look at this property. St. Peter's Bay. No, no. Here. This one, yeah. What do you think? In, what do you think in there is worth? More or less the same? They look the same. Uh, oh no 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 no. Okay, 20 it, million. It's called Palazate. Palazate. That is 125 million US dollars. Maybe what? this whole place here. The whole right. place. Right, but this the is property. bigger than actually one of the villas out there, right? Yeah, this right. one is bigger. So that's expected. Looks, looks. I don't know, like Italian. Sorry? This, the, this, the, the, the water fountain and all that is like Italian it has, mostly. It has underground parking for 18 cars. Whoa. That's one person's property? It has what property? you call biometric elevator is the worst. It's oh. really expensive. That's property for one person? Uh, it's for those who can afford it. Is it like to spend it's, it's, a night? It's condos. No, it's condos as well. Oh, okay. This is northwest. This is north. This is northwest. I always, north I always yeah. call it northwest north. because but I call it. We are currently in the north. The east doesn't. I mean, sorry, the west does not travel to this point. Oh. Town. Yeah, this, there was a very popular American superstar, a, a movie actress used to live in Spite Town. Here on my left, it's called Belle Reef. Oh, okay. 40 million US for that. To oh. buy it? Yep. Hello.
All right, so this is the, so we have these four areas for shopping. We have the south, it's called Oystens. Oystens, yeah, not Oystens. Then you went to Bridgetown. Yeah. Then there was Whole Town. Yeah. And now there's Spitestown. These are the four traditional areas of shopping and business. Now this was the first Barbados capital before Bridgetown. Oh, really? But because it was not a good harbor. Uh-huh. You see, the water is too shallow. So okay. the ships could not come close to the shore. Uh -huh. And then if there was a bad weather, it would be flooded too easily, right? Yeah. So it was discovered that Bridgetown was a better harbor, so Bridgetown became the capital. But this was the first area where we used to do all the import of products and cargo. It used to come right here. Oh, and the, Little Bristol. And it was called Little Bristol. She's taking it from me. We're going to see a bar that's a Little Bristol Beach Bar right there, oh. as in England. And that's because we did trade with Little Bristol. And in those days, we were one of the richest countries in the world, believe it or not. Oh. That was back then. Bristol. In the world. We're talking back then. Don't forget, Lynn, we are the most eastern island, right? Yeah. We are the nearest island to Africa. You are the nearest also and to the Europe, Caribbean. I think. So guess where all the slaves came first? Barbados. Right. So this is why the British would not let anybody else get here because we were very strategic. Oh, what I'm yeah. The ships, they would land here first before because they get to any the other island. Stop, but imagine coming on a ship that can only sail at like 10 miles an hour. So when you get here, many slaves have died. If you want, you can get some pictures here. You see where you have the slaves and all of that, the pictures and all of that right there? Oh, oh yeah, that. I see that. And then there's a an experience so basically we've dropped almost half of the country now we've not as yet away from south <laughs> we're now in the north so we've done southwest and now in the north right and we still have to go to the east side east side part of the east side all right all right so this was our first capital of Barbados once yeah. called once called little bristol little bristol you can tell us a little bit. So welcome to the Spice Town Jetty here in the parish of St. Peter. As said, once the first capital of Barbados called Little Bristol and lovely views if you look over to our right that is looking onto the north atlantic side of the island going from there we'll be going on to the eastern side and the jetty doesn't look like it is pretty much safe today yeah, it's, it's a lot of water lot coming of up so we will not be able to go on to the jetty and give you a lovely view back here of the spice town area but whatever we can do we will show you yeah but the, what I love about Barbados is that there's the beach everywhere. Look at that. Lovely. And the different golden shades of water. sandy beaches. The aquamarine, which is in the sky, penetrates to the water. Sometimes it looks a bit like a turquoise color. Yeah, it looks like different shades, like the water, the shade here as you progress yes. different shades. I love it. So this is the Spice Town Esplanade. Uh-huh. And here we are standing over the actual sea and the tide is a bit high so we wouldn't go any further before we get splashed today. All right. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so get out of here. Look, there's a big one coming. I'm going to take a photo with the sign of Spice Town. Oh. There. Oh, this is um, this flower here. Yeah. This is the Pride of Barbados, our national flower. Oh. It's here in yellow right now, but we have it in lovely pink and white and orange. What's the name of the flower? The Pride of Barbados. Oh, the Pride of Barbados. Yes. So if you come around, you will see it is in another color, the pinkish, oh, the, the reddish, reddish, and orange the orangey orange. looking color. Yeah. Oh. That's our national flower. Okay. But the slaves, as we know, brought from Africa and this being Spice Town or Little Bristol as we knew before this area we are um, 
In the Caribbean chain, we stand just on the outside. So we're the closest island to Africa. It would have been an easy ride to come to Barbados with the slaves. The first Caribbean island you would have gotten to, to bring the slaves. So that's why you would have had the slaves more settled in here than the other islands. And that's why Britain obviously took on Barbados and didn't want anybody else to get Barbados, unlike our neighboring islands, which would have had influences from the other European nations. Oh, all right. So here we have some of the Africans in chains, you know, they're crying out to break the chains. Whipping them. Weeping, you know. Chain, crying, so sad. So a lot of our history as you go around the island, you know, in little monuments and paintings. Yeah. All right, so we get some water somewhere. Yeah, Glyne is picking up some water for us. We're continuing with our adventure. So where, which direction are we going now? We're going out to the deep north. Deep north. All right, take a look at this. So basically I've come all the way. Familiar? Better. What's that? That's the middle passage. That's how the boats used to have the slaves. Oh, this is how they used to be. Look at the picture properly. The better you say you don't understand my oppression and we have a conversation than pretending you didn't you than pretending you do and we don't discuss it. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a good message, you know? <laughs> yeah. I wonder what you have if you haven't walked a mile in my shoes, you can't mm -hmm. tell me about me. Yeah. Or act like you understand everything. Ooh, so we're going deep now. I can't believe it. This is so beautiful. Thank you so much for the experience. I'm You're loving it. Welcome. And of course, she gave me some bed jam. jam. How did you call it? Jumper. Jumper. Okay, so I'm trying to. It's. A Belgian snack. A lot of sugar, it's like samosa, but they're filling inside this jam. But it's sweet to sugary. These are condos, but you must have a yacht to be here. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna show you. So if you don't have a yacht, you can't stay here. Well, you're not going to be welcome, <laughs> put it that way. Unless you're Rihanna. This is designed for those people who want to be able to sail up to your front door and then go to the ocean and back again and all of that. Mm -hmm. And when you come back, you have your own designated customs and immigrations. Really? I'm going to show you. Yeah. It's kind of private, so you're not supposed to see anything, right? Yeah. But when the wall gets lower here, mm -hmm. So I'm supposed to tell you, do not look over the wall. I should not look over the wall. I'm so looking. don't so don't look. I'm looking because I have to see. Wow. Okay. So people are there. Oh wow, looks nice. It's very nice. If you have a yacht. Wow. <coughs> the rich. Yeah. This is where the rich hide in the Barbados. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I've been here for a couple of tours and there is very nice, trust me. Now there's a younger brother that was built a uh -huh. few years after. This is called Port St. Charles. Yeah. This one is called Port Ferdinand. Which one? Ferdinand, we are coming up. Oh, we're coming up to it. So this one is more modern. You'll see some more modern condos. Oh, okay. And these condos cost between two and a half to three million US dollars, all right? Okay. And you can always tell because it has the royal palm trees to the front. Mm -hmm. Now we're going over a bridge that can lift. Mm -hmm. But we can't often. stop on the bridge because it's you're not allowed to stop. Oh, okay. But you can go slowly. So if you want to get your own place in Barbados, uh -huh. there's lots of room here. So you push your order in early, you may get a 15% discount. If I have money. Off to my left, you'll see the island that's there, customs and immigrations, right there. That island over there. Oh, no stopping on the bridge. So you want to live here? Yes. Lots of room, see that? Yeah, I love it. I'm going to be there. <coughs> oh, wow. See that nice yacht right there? Uh-huh. That's my yacht. That's your yacht? Yeah. OK. 
Can we go take a ride? I gotta talk to the captain. Okay. I thought you were the captain. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> notice, notice the white stuff there, right? On the ground? Yeah. That's coral limestone. Oh, okay. Because we are made of coral, it's the natural material that we have. And it's very strong also for construction. It's very good for building roads, stuff like that, as the aggregates, yes. And also people use it, okay, in Kenya, people in the coast, they use it for construction of houses. You can use coral stone, but you need permission because it's very expensive. So Kenya is also coral? Part the coast of Kenya. <laughs> okay. We have nice beaches too, like long beaches. At the coast. Mombasa, say? Yeah, Mombasa, Diani. Diani is my favorite. Oh, yeah, yeah. Diani, Malindi, Watamu, Kilifi. Diani is what most people speak about. That's Mombasa, my favorite. Yeah. Mombasa is the most popular because yeah. it was the first capital of Kenya. Oh, similar to here. Yeah, because uh, the coast is where they needed to bring in to 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 bring in their spices and steal things from Africa. Okay, so here is what I would call the north. Yeah. Right. But she said it's earlier, so. So this is deep north. This is deep north. So we are now in the parish of Saint Lucy. Saint Lucy. Ah, so we have island. so we have eleven parishes. Uh huh. Ten of the parishes are men. Uh huh. The only one that so woman is at the very top, female. Of course. Tend to be at the top. Don't get any ideas, all right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> Who ran the world? <laughs> so here's a nice restaurant. It's not cheap. It's yeah. called the Fish Pot. You want to have dinner on the water, a nice atmosphere. You can have dinner right here. Look at that. It's really nice. Yeah. So the ocean is going to be changing. Let the see even here again. Right? Yeah, but he 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 live here, you know. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, you have not seen anything yet. Trust me. I haven't seen anything no. yet. The most beautiful parts of Barbados is where the sea is the most dangerous. Oh. And you really can't swim. And that's the Arawak cement plant bridge there. That's where the cement is shipped to the boat. When it's made, it's shipped onto the boats. Okay. So we're driving on the edge of the country. We are. So we're on the northern coast. Yeah. <coughs> Very yeah, this corner, there. Yeah. One needs to slow. It's kind of sharp yeah. and narrow. This is good. If you, when you go to St. Lucia, yeah. trust me, you will see sharp turns, dropping off of cliffs. You'll be driving and there will be rock on one side and drop on the other. Because St. Lucia is much more mountainous. It's scary. But they are they are used to that. So <coughs> So from here on you'll be doing other Caribbean islands? Yeah.
See all these solar panels out there? Yeah. So, electricity. Yeah, we it's also a, it's also the usual type of electricity as well. They have both right here. Ah. Sugar cane. Sugar cane here on my right, yeah. But we tend to rotate crops. So you have like sweet potatoes sometimes, you may have um, like beans or peas, depending mm -hmm. on what's going on. Is sugar cane a big thing in Kenya? Mm. Not like corn. Corn is the biggest. Yeah, corn is the biggest. Sugar cane used to be our number one in tourism. I'm told the British benefited a lot from sugar cane from here. Yeah. I'm sorry? She said she was told that the British benefited a lot from the sugar cane. The British, the British benefit a lot from <laughs> everything. <laughs> The British and the Europeans rape the entire world. Yeah. The entire world. And got rich off the rest of the world. Especially Africa mountain, although we call it Mount Hillaby. Hillaby? Mount, Mount Hillaby. Oh, Hillaby. It's a hill. Oh. That's why it's called Hillaby. Our highest point. Right. It's a hill that want to be a mountain. <laughs> we have in the hemisphere what's that but i'm just showing you oh. that's the bottom half of what used to be a total windmill structure uh -huh. that used to crush sugar cane back in the day to make sugar oh before we had the modern factories mm -hmm. so we have 506 in barbados around the but it was brought from africa to feed slaves really <laughs> i have not seen it in africa ah we are going to the banana thing see here Oh, okay. You have that, in, have that in Kenya as well, right? Obviously. Yes. Oh, of course, definitely. bananas we do have. Do you know why it looks like the banana in Barbados are growing upside down like that? But that's how bananas grow. But do you know why they're left upside down? No. Because we plant the thing upside down. But that's how bananas still grow <laughs> in back home. You joking with the girls? Oh, he's joking! <laughs> 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 there was a joke. I'm like, that banana looks like every banana. <laughs> but we call it a hand of banana in Barbados. Oh, you don't call it a bunch. We call it a hand. Because it looks like fingers like this. If you look at it. Uh-huh. It's how the banana is shaped like a hand. So we call it a hand of banana. A hand of banana. Yeah. When you say a bunch, but it's when you cut off a hand. When you cut it at the pieces, it's when it's a hand. Call it a hand, not a bunch, right. is what I'm saying. But the oh. whole thing is a bunch. Well, she gave me sign that she is taught. No, no. The whole, the whole the thing whole is a banana. Is a bunch. The but whole you cut the pieces that is just a few. It looks like a hand. It is a hand, yeah. That hand is what you call a bunch. No, no, we're here in Barbara the because, whole because it looks like a hand. It's uh -huh. a hand, it's a bunch. So these are the sugar cane. Are there still many sugar cane factories? No. No, only got one left. <coughs> we had 25. There's only one left. That did a good job for uh, England. Good cane. When you see those bamboo shoots at the top, yeah. that's a good cane. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now, Lynn, you're going to see the real beauty of Barbados. It's coming up shortly. No, these beaches out here, you can't swim. Mm -hmm. So by the way, you're going to see a picture of St. Nicholas Abbey. We can't go in. Oh, okay. Do you know what is an oxymoron? Oxymoron? It's like bittersweet. It's like a contradiction. Yeah, like when you say bittersweet. So this is a contradiction or an oxymoron. It's called St. Nicholas Abbey. No, St. Nicholas, it's not about Santa Claus. Yeah, and it's selling... And it's called an abbey and it's not an abbey. Oh, okay. It's just a Jacobean great house, 1650. See how old it is? Yeah, I see that. Okay. The other oxymoron is out here. It's called Cherry Tree Hill. Cherry Tree. And these are not cherry trees. These are mahogany trees. Oh, and you wouldn't find a single cherry tree over here. Apparently, you can if you go if you go deep enough. So before COVID nineteen, we used to go in here. Oh. But no, you can't. You now go in on the second entrance. Now it has a train that runs the inside of the plantation. Oh. So if you come here, you can do the train by itself, 
or the house by itself or both. The house itself is an hour and 15 minutes. The train is 45 minutes. If you go around the plantation. That's if you want to stay at home. Yeah, it's up to you, but the house is R15. So you will go in here where it says railway. It's a really nice store if you want to get a historic tour. Uh -huh. You go in here. It's really very nice. St. Nicholas. Yeah. And there's a lovely view as well looking over the Atlantis. So when we get to the end now of this, what I call a tunnel, yeah. that's where the beauty Most opens up. Views now, the view you're about to see, we call the area the Scotland District because it is supposed to look like Scotland. No, I don't believe it because Scotland wants to be like Barbados, right? All right so, so they're trying to steal our beauty, but it's not working. <laughs> oh, notice this. Notice out here is a brownish color in the soil. Yeah, that's, that's why the beach out here, the sand is brown. You see, when Barbados was emerging from under the sea, this part of the country was close to a river that has red clay. Uh -huh. So there's red in the soil out here. So the oh. beach out here on the dangerous part is brown compared to the white on the other side. Okay. Yeah. What is it going here look like? I have no idea. It's, they're excavating something. Yeah, but I don't know for what reason. He wants to, in he wants to increase the train ride. Right. Okay. But I would get to make that I don't know what you're doing. I have no idea. I haven't got a clue what that is. Oh, they might be doing a bridge, you know. I know what they're doing. Yes, they might be doing a bridge because the depth of that hole, <coughs> remember they have to stabilize okay. to make the thing strong. And by the way, in, in Barbados, these trees are protected. What trees? Mahog these? Mahogany, mahogany trees. You can't cut them. Oh. Because back in the day, we had the mahogany furniture industry. We almost destroyed them, so they are now replanting them. You'll see a sign up here that says we are reforesting. So I'm going to pause here. Okay. You can get off. And the picture down the hill is very beautiful. All right. To see the most beautiful view. One of, one of the most. One of the most for sure. All right. So serene. Oh, here's the train. The, the train tracks. Yeah, the train comes here, yeah. As you can see, it says Cherry Tree Hill Reserve right there. Yeah, That's Cherry right there. Tree Hill Reserve. Yeah. Okay. We saw him from the south huh? I saw you in the city taking pictures. You saw me in the city? And you were doing a video or you were singing? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, ah. and I'm back. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I love it. You gotta stay here. I am. Subscribe to her channel. She's visiting from England. Sorry, from Kenya. Kenya and nice. her, she's a YouTuber. And her channel is African Tigress. What's your favorite thing about Barbados? It's a beautiful weather, the sunshine, and the people itself, and mm -hmm. the people that visit the island that always come back again and love it. And the beautiful beaches we have, food, delicacy, and um, shopping and stuff in Barbados. What food should I try? Rice and chicken and peas. Rice and chicken and peas. Peas and rice, as I call it, and chicken. All right, I'm definitely going to give it a try. So I'm um, from Kenya. Yes, please. Uh, Africa, definitely. Yes, please. Uh, I'll be very interested to know, like, do you know what do you know about Africa? Do you consider yourself an African? I consider my ancestors from, from Africa, but um, I don't know much really about it, but I will consider my family ancestors from Africa. Would you want to visit Africa someday, maybe? Maybe I'd like to visit. Any country? Um, South Africa, Kenya, Ghana, any, any like that, Nigeria, anything like that. All right, all right. Welcome. Thank you. We say Caribou. Karibu. 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 Actually in Kiswahili it's Karibu. Kari Our R is very strong. It's right. rrr, rrr. It's like yeah. rolling your tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Alright, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Alright. Richard. Welcome to the north of Barbados, one of the most scenic places with the most scenic views. Definitely a place you would want to check out when you visit Barbados. Let me show you. Where are we now? We are here at Cherry Tree Hill. Ooh, I love the nose, the black nose. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely jewelry, and we have the calabash bowls. Uh -huh. Are you familiar with the calabash? Yeah, I know the calabash. Yeah, so that's the calabash bowls. Yeah. Lovely earrings. I have to walk away because that's my weak point, the jewelry. Oh, the jewelry. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. So this breathtaking view here of Ooh. the eastern coastline. This is north. Which 
this is the eastern coastline you're looking at uh -huh. we're on the north of the island but you're looking at the eastern, eastern coastline. coastline yes oh. so you're looking across the parishes of st andrew st joseph st john and way across the peak is st philip and if your eyes are really good you can see a lighthouse yeah, way see, across oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the ragged point lighthouse at st philip <laughs> so we are in st peter here st andrew number two st joseph number three st john number four and st philip number five and inland will be st thomas and so yeah. that's basically six parishes you can have a look at from the, at this point <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Atlantic side of the island where you don't go see bathing because it's rough seas over here. So people don't swim on those beaches. You're not supposed to swim at the beaches here, but you know you might have some people that might venture into the water. And we have surfing on the island in the St. Joseph area because obviously the surfers like that type of water. Yeah, so that's the area that we'll go up to in Bashable and we leave here across St. Joseph. So the lovely view here you're looking at. All right, I wanna take some photos here. Most definitely. It's Love like it. my fourth time here. Oh, it's your fourth time here. So you must be yeah. loving it. Yeah, it's to be a re amazing. Yeah. yeah, repeat guest. It's your first time here? Oh, yes, it is her time. first time here. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy it, yeah. Oh. It's my all time here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. What's up? My name is Jeff. Jeff, where are yeah. you from? I'm from Canada. All right. Winnipeg, where it's very cold. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you going back? We're going back tomorrow. I don't envy you. Oh, no. It's going to be cold. I come from cold. a very cold place. Yeah. So what's your favorite thing uh, about Barbados? Is it your first time here? No, this is my uh, fourth time here. Fourth time? Yeah. 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 It's we come here almost every year since yeah. we discovered the island it's it's our favorite place <laughs> yeah I've, I've been to a lot of places and it, this is my favorite oh, sure. right. yeah all people right. are great and, uh -huh. yeah all scenery right. the beaches are beautiful so yeah all right all right thank you so yeah, much thank you okay. have a good one yeah so thanks all right so what do you see Oh, we're looking over the eastern coastline. Yeah. And if you see the formation, like some little peaks, yeah. that's what we call like the sleeping giant. As we get further down, you will get to see what it looks like. It looks like a person lying with their head pointed back at the sea. And we usually say that it's the sleeping giant that protects us from anything coming on that side of the island. All right, all right. From that side of the coast, sorry. Okay. So we're going down. Yeah. The beautiful view. Your favorite. You said this is your favorite view. One of your favorites. So one of the things about here that's a problem is because the soil is red. Yeah. And it's clear. It's slippery. Oh. So the roads out here gets destroyed very easily. So you can see. Yeah. So this is the one drawback with living out here. The streets are not the best. Are. Ah. As you will see. Is there public transport to this place? I don't think there's any public transport coming to this road here. Look at this, look. see that? Oh. You gotta you take your time, you gotta take your time coming up or going down this hill. You need a good car. You need a good road. <laughs> Oh, good road. Yeah, not a good car. <laughs> you need a good road. <laughs> oh. But it's expensive to keep the roads in good condition. We have to use these structures. I'm going to show you them. They are called gabions. You'll see them on both sides. They look like simple baskets with rocks. Uh-huh. They're used all over the world. I've seen them in places but, but they're not cheap. They're expensive to put. But they're cheaper than having to fix the road all the time. So you got to make your mind which one you're going to do, right? All of this is because of land movement, not because of the bad construction. The movement and the... Yeah, slowly over the years. Mm -hmm. So you'll see some of them here, like, see there on the left, you see these baskets. Oh. You can barely see them. I can see them. Yeah. Gabions. Gabions. So we need them over here. Enough of them, yeah. You'll see them in the field here on my right as well. 
If you look, you'll see them all here in these fields right there. Oh yeah, I see them. Yeah. To prevent erosion? Yep. And some of what we're traveling on actually has avions already. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look at how steep this is. Yeah, and not smooth. Yeah. I would not want to be coming up here. Going down to me is worse. Yeah? Yep. Especially if it's raining. And if you don't have good brakes. You better have good brakes. So you can see inland now from here, which is obviously just vegetation. Yeah. You might be right, Glenn, but we said Thomas having a nice amount of I forgot the demographics, but... I think they're saying Thomas. I think so too. Which marine barbages is the least populated? Google can tell you. The population of St. Thomas and they are St. John. St. John has more food than St. Joseph, between St. Joseph and St. Thomas. Well, ask, ask Google the population, so it'll tell you. If you ask them which has the least, they ain't gonna tell you. The population of St. Thomas Parish in St. Joseph? Yes, for 6,000 versus 16 to 14,000. Oh, there's a windmill down there. So this is the one that this is the one that works. Oh. Now this one has been damaged, not the actual machinery, but the blades that spin in the wind. So these three what look like toothpicks <laughs> used to be full blades. Oh. Oh, and there's someone doing some farming here. Yeah, these cows are supposed to be Canadian cows. They're enjoying the view. Yeah. These, these cows are living in luxury. Yeah. But the black and white ones? Yeah. Yeah, the black and white ones are supposed to be, what do you call them? Whole stains, that's the word? Uh-huh. So there's a rumor in Barbados that the white cow gives you vanilla milk. Uh, and the brown cow gives you a chocolate, chocolate milk, milk yeah. <laughs> and the invisible cow gives you evaporated milk which is the invisible cow the one you don't see all right so you can see the blade that's hanging down there right yeah that's, they should all look like that see here on the body it's hanging yeah. down yeah so they should all look like that so oh. it has this piece of wood that slants from the top it has a wheel at the bottom where it hits the ground so you can push it or pull it on the wheel and turn the entire structure left or right to face into the wind so it's still functioning yeah Who you don't turn it though it's owned by the Barbados National Trust it's a private oh, right. yeah okay. the blue stuff in there is still in good condition that wasn't yeah, hurt looks, looks looks like it's see you well see where you, now you see where it says entrance yeah. right here yeah. so in the past right there wasn't a thing called safety at the workplace because uh -huh. they were slaves, right? Yeah. So what they had dangling at the entrance was a machete. Uh -huh. Because if when you were feeding sugar cane into that crushing thing, your arm got caught, uh -huh. well, unless you want to go right. with it, oh. they take it off. Oh. So the machete is what would cut you? Cut your oh. arm if you want to, yeah. Oh. Unless you want to go with it, right? Oh. It's not any better. Ah, that's painful. That's in the death back in the past, the yeah. dark ages. <coughs> so who runs this farm? Well, this is owned by the Barbados National Trust. Now it says the Caribbean's largest and only working. But there is no one in Antigua. Uh -huh. So when this was put there, yeah. Antigua's wasn't fixed yet. Oh. So this has to be updated. It's not fake news. Oh, so the, the Antigua one Antigua is... Antigua now has one, but ours is the oldest. Ah. That was built in 1734. Ah, all right. 
Yeah. What's that? Andrew had 5,000 plus. In, in 2010? St. Joseph had 6,000 plus. Uh huh. St. John had 8,000 plus. Mm -hmm. So, unless St. Andrew got more people in it, it means that it's wrong. But don't forget that 2010 is talking about, you know? I know that. But. This thing should be like, really? I think when I check my ear, the more recent. And then you've got people moving out and then because St. Philip had a big. Population of St. Joseph Parish. So, what's the name of this parish now? St. Andrew. St. Andrew. So, we, what's, uh, we came from Christ Church. Yeah. We, we went, went through St. Michael. St. Michael, Michael first. St. Michael. St. James. St. James. St. Peter. St. Peter. And now St. Andrew. And Lucia? We went through St. Lucy too. I said St. Lucy. You no, you didn't. didn't. Sorry, St. Lucy, not St. Lucia, St. Lucy, oh, Lucy. L-U-C-Y. St. Michael, St. James, St. Peter, St. Lucy, St. Andrew. We're going into St. Joseph. So we've done That's six. Yep. We might pass through St. George heading back to, to which will be it. And that's not the full parish, it's just that you're passing through. Yeah, the main roads. Yeah. So you see how nice and smooth down here is? Yeah. yeah. And they should nice. do this on the hill back up there, right? You agree? Yeah, this was stretched recently, huh? This was not always like this. It was bumpy too, but they fixed it. So they need to do this up the hill. But it will still break down because remember they did try a path and try a path still start. Yeah, but it all depends on how to build it. Trail path has avions and it's still, you can't start the line from sliding. You could try to reduce it. That would be the avions do. <coughs> so, Saint Andrew, we're in. Andrew. Are we here to be cooking it? Why not? <laughs> That's beautiful. You hardly ever see that. Anymore. Really? Yes. I it was aware for you guys in the village in Kenya, but you don't see it here. It used to be here a lot, but not as much as before. Unless some of the guys on the block decide that they're going to do a cook up pot. That's the best. That's the best ever. Taste is different. Yeah. It's done faster because the heat, you know, from the firewood is. It works faster. Yeah. It does? Yes. Yeah. We are cruising nicely. In the Barbados. So here is St. Andrew's Parish Church. This is Gothic with the oh. graveyard, not cemetery. Remember? With the graveyard, not cemetery. Not cemetery graveyard. <laughs> so many people here on this particular one. So many people have been buried on this particular one. Is it the largest? But nah. they call this a cemetery. No, can I just use the graveyard, Charmaine? But that's what they say. It is a graveyard. It's not a cemetery. I tell you the difference. Because they mistake the wrong thing in Barbados. It's a graveyard. Oh, coconut. I wish they could grow on my farm. They can't? It's cold. I think coconut only thrives in warm environments. You say it's too cold? Yeah. In Kenya? So you're in Nairobi? We have in Nairobi, yeah. Like oh. my, my, my farm in Nairobi. The other one it can grow back. That's on the other side of Wait, uh, you're in which part of Africa again? East. Kenya. East Kenya, Africa. Kenya. Yeah. Which is uh, Kenya, Uganda. Tanzania, Rwanda. How many countries Rwanda, on the Rwanda, east of, how many countries on the east of Africa? Over over twenty? No. Maybe eight, maybe ten. Somalia, Kenya. Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, Ethiopia, South Sudan. Okay. Are Although sure sometimes they add Djibouti and Eritrea as well. Sometimes you this ask school? Google, you get the wrong. Yes, yeah. That's a secondary school. Oh, sorry, that's a primary school. Primary. The secondary school is down secondary here. Just... And the pride of Barbados. The flower. The flower, yeah. So the sleeping giant is coming into view. Oh, the sleeping giant. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so this is our oldest highway. Oldest it's now what? called the Ermiborn Highway. Oh. It wasn't always called that. It was opened up by the Queen of England. Which Queen? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Uh huh. It was 1966. Yeah. The 15th of February. Mm hmm And it was called the East Coast Road because we are on the East. Coast. And we're on the road. Okay. And it's the coast, right? Yeah, east coast. We're on the east coast road. Right. So people don't swim a lot on the north and on the east. Oh. <coughs> it's violent. The current will just take you. The yeah, you don't swim here on the and That's there's the sleeping giant? No, no, yes, but from, from the other side. Okay. Now, the one thing you need to remember is you do not swim out here because out here we have what you call the reptiles or the undercurrents. Yeah. It's very powerful. And whereas where you're staying on the south, yeah. if you go across the water, yeah. your nearest other island is St. Lucia. That's oh. 115 miles. Over here, however, yeah. it's 2,445 miles Cape Verde Islands oh. that's West Africa right yeah and of course in terms of the mainland Africa it's 3,000 miles oh. so if you go in here it's a long swim to Africa It's about how the airlines design the air path and for you to support the other economies in Africa. That's all it is. And also because of maybe demand. I don't know. It's not. But it's not only demand you know, because. If we had flights going to Africa, trust me, people would be going and coming. I, I believe our so. prime minister is currently trying to get a flight to Africa. We need to get it because we need to communicate with Africa more and than going will, to the US. And it will be to Ghana. I think it will be to. Oh. All right, so here you can see this large boulder. Yeah. It tells you exactly it was called the East Coast East Road. This road was officially opened at this port by, the by Queen. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II on tu Tuesday, Tuesday, 15th February 1966, the day after Valentine's Day. Now, the reason it's been changed to Ermi Bourne Highway is because Ermi Bourne was the first woman yeah. to enter Parliament. That was 1951. Now Barbados, listen to this, we got the third oldest parliament in the Western Hemisphere. Oh. Third oldest. So see how nice that looks, but you can't swim. Yeah, it looks nice, but bio But not for swimming. Yeah. yeah, and too many coral stones. Exactly, it has too much stone when you step in. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can hurt your feet. Because it can't. So it doesn't matter how good, are you a good swimmer? Yeah, no. Okay, I can't swim either. I can, but not to save my life. I can yeah. play with water. Yeah. I can play with water. So it, we had some tragedies where there were two females from Germany. These were Olympic swimmers. Yeah. And they both drowned out here. Same evening. Oh. So it don't matter how good you think you can swim. You do not swim out here, right? So In fact, you won't believe this, but last week, right? Yeah last week yeah. some fish drowned out here some yeah a couple of fish drowned yeah <laughs> you're crazy <laughs> not the sleeping giant from the other side um. <laughs> so because fish are good swimmers they still drown i'm just telling you i'm just making a point <laughs> That you don't it's go so in. It's so funny. Yeah, it's funny joke. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I was like, some fish drown? <laughs> My stomach hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the best swimmers in the world drown. <laughs> oh. But you can have like a picnic. Or yeah, yeah. In fact, you was a famous picnic. It still um, is. Well, it's, uh -huh. it's supposed to be, but many years ago, we used to have plenty more like picnics out here. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's called Barclays Park. You see it right here. To come here with people from Lake Fitness. Uh huh. So you can look, just take and get out and look back and see the sleeping giant. Oh, you can see that? Yes, get out and look. So this is the sleeping giant. Yes, this is what we call the sleeping giant. It's head going towards the Atlantic side of the island or the ocean on our East Coast Road. Yeah. And if you look, you can see like the formation of the head. And then you can see like the trees. That's the chest area with yeah. here. And that's what we call the sleeping giant. And like I said before, our protection on this island on the of the east island coast. yes and this east coast road as we call it uh -huh. but official name for it is the ermy born highway uh -huh. which was opened by queen elizabeth in 1966 all right february 15th to be exact yeah all right and here many years ago we used to do moonlight picnics moonlight picnics. moonlight picnic in here many many years ago it's so still a can... famous picnic spot uh -huh. for people, especially on bank holidays, you know. Okay. So yeah, people usually come here, picnic mm -hmm. for the entire day and have some fun. All right. So that's who we are, East Coast Road or Ermy Born so Holiday. So today we're going through the entire, you know, this was one of my desires. I was like, okay, it's a small island. I see everything as I'm landing. I hope I can get a chance to go around the whole island. But we and still wouldn't get to go around the island as small as it is. No, like we've gone, we've been. We've to, been to like, it's like we're going in, six we're going parishes like, thus yeah, far. Yeah, but we're going like on the edge. We are going on the yeah. coastal yeah, line. On the coastline. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to do like the entire coastline. Almost yes, the entire almost coast. the entire coastline. But if you go back and they come back through the east to my address, you've done the entire. Yes, <laughs> you've done the um, entire. Yeah, right, yes, yeah. Right. So this that's pretty amazing. much it. Yeah. I hope you're enjoying this video. And you're Six parishes so far. Six parishes. How Two or three people? more we will likely pass through. That's. Cool. Yeah, and that's not like so many nine. people who come to Barbados get to do no, this. definitely not. And I think that you are the first African who would have done this that I would have seen watching all the videos from the YouTubers. I've not seen <laughs> any showcase this, so you might have been the first one to see this and showcase it. So, you know, amazing, amazing. So, if you're enjoying this, make sure you smash that like button, go and subscribe, and African subscribe Tigress. And share yeah, this episode. <laughs> Let's continue to the next. To the, we're going further east yes right? we're going to Bashiba now Bashiba yes okay there are fish don't swim here right don't it doesn't matter how good you are right you will drown if you love yourself right unless you're on a suicide mission well a camper van this is a nice place to just come and you know come but don't swim have a picnic word oh Zander Zander Venezia this moment this monument is dedicated in the ever loving memory of Zander Venezia whom on September 2017 served his final wave into eternal peace Zander will be remembered for his loving and caring spirit and his always positive attitude for the undeniable mark he left behind on earth. From 2001 to 2017, Zander, you are not a drop in the ocean, you are an entire ocean in a drop. So this is the place the person was surfing. This is where he, his body was found. He was somewhere on this coastline, his body was found here. I'm not sure if he... He was probably at Bash. We don't know, but he went surfing. He's a surfer. I yeah. remember surfers love dangerous waters, but yet the ocean has no respect for him either. This is a reminder you do not swim out here at all. Then quite a young age, 16. Yeah. Yeah, he was 16. If he was born in 2001 yeah. and died 2017. Died very young, 16 yeah. 16 year old. And he was a damn good swimmer. Was a tourist, right? No. He, he was a barbarian. Barbarian. Oh. Barbarian surfer. Oh. And but don't forget. No, you can't swim, but that's not a problem because we are a small country. You can go to the other side to swim. But, but out here, you can get. The waves. But out here, you get nice waves to put you to sleep at night. Yeah. And then you get clean air because it's three thousand miles of pure ocean. Yeah. And the sand, notice the sand is brown, like the on like yeah. the other beach because of the red soil out here. Yeah. Well, we have brown sand in Kenya. We call it the Golden Beach. Yeah. Yeah. Well, white, it's either brown or white, yeah. We call it the, the, the brown sand, we call it the golden beach. Yeah. Mm. And if you love taking pictures, yeah. look up there. See that rock? 
Yeah. At the very top. Oh my goodness! Do people <laughs> climb there? Now the only problem, Lynn, is that you must get up there somehow. No, I'm not getting up there. Yes, they, 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 there are no ladders, there are no steps. You so have to climb. climb. So you risk But you probably have Kilimanjaro in your country, so you uh, climb no, that. They before. have paths. They have paths. Okay, so sometimes when you guys see that, you ask, how did we do that? Did we build the bench at the bottom and use ropes to hoist it? Or did we go up with the raw material yeah. and put it in? Here's a rumor, right? They said that the guys build the bench at the bottom, right? Yeah. They then put the bench in a small boat. They sat in the boat and wait for high tide. That's a lie. If you tell me they tied a rope to it and pulled it up, I'll believe that. <laughs> if the tide got there, all these houses would not be here. But well, that's true, yeah. But the views are nice, very, very nice. Yeah, the views are nice. So we're looking across that Bathsheba area where you see those stones. Those nice rocks and rocks stuff, that's Bathsheba. Water. That's Bathsheba now, we're heading Bashiba. in. Bathsheba? Yeah, and right Bashiba. here, Lynn. This is one of my properties. Oh, of your property? You like it? Yeah. I like it. Yes, thank you. I would love to uh, all this uh, okay, point it out a little bit. Oh, I love it. Can I come here? I gotta talk to my broker. To your broker? Yeah. Wow. It's a golf course as well. It's actually croquet. It's again called croquet. Croquet. A C R O Q U E T. It's uh -huh. not cricket, it's croquet. It's a different game. It's a different game. So it's a different game? Yes. Oh. It's a boring game. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. It's boring, yeah. It looks exciting. But this is where some of the rich comes to hang out. Although here it's not that expensive to be honest. These are brand new places that were built for accommodation. Holiday homes. Yeah. Looks so beautiful. Loaded. I like them. Yeah. The only thing is that you... Give me this one of this one, I refurbish it and make it mine. <laughs> the only thing is you can't swim. That's the only... That's the only issue. If you have no problem that you don't swim here, yeah, it's a I great place to stay. I don't try swimming. If I build a place here, I would probably have a swimming pool. Yeah, so if you feel like swimming, you just swim. So we're going into a place called Bathsheba, and if you know the Bible, yeah, Queen. It's right. Queen Bathsheba. She was a beautiful woman, but her beauty caused her husband, he named her Uriah, I think it was. Uh-huh. Right. To lose his life. So that's why we call it Bathsheba. It's beautiful, but don't Sweet. go for a swim. Yeah. Okay, so this is where we begin to access Bashiba. That's a breadfruit tree right there. Yeah. And then you realize that here in St. Joseph, the breadfruits are not ready. Yeah. It is very likely that breadfruit is not ready anywhere else on the island because in St. Joseph, you will find the most breadfruits. Oh, okay. And one fruit can feed a whole family. So you can understand, one right? One fruit? Isn't one it? They get, fruit, yes. Can feed the entire family. Really? Yes. And look at that, look, these trees are everywhere in Barbados. There's one here and it carries lots of fruit. So we should so not we should not starve, shouldn't starve here. It looks so beautiful. Yeah. I would love to if I would get it. Oh yeah, and this is another of my properties here. Like this one. <laughs> I have so many property, man. Lucky see that? you. See those are my cars. See them right there? Yeah, you see them. Yeah. Right now it's very hard to get a break from. It's out of season. Ice cream! Do you have this in Kenya? Ice cream trucks going around selling yeah. ice cream? It's big in Barbados. It's a, like it's good business. This is a hot island. I but love how they maintain the, the law. belongs to the church, right? Aha! Uh -huh. This is not a church. It's a burial ground, however. Burial it's ground. empty. It looks like a church, right? And there's totally empty. But because it's not a church, see it says there's a cemetery, look at that. Oh, Nicole, Nicole's memorial. It's a cemetery, it has no church. Oh, okay. So, see that? Yeah. Now, what is that? I have no idea. It's a 
to flex your bun. But there's a rumor that if you go into the entrance here close to you, Lynn, yeah. you're going to be alive. At the other end, you'll be dead. You're dead, yeah. Okay, let's not try that. <laughs> Let's not try that. We're trying to be alive. Right, so I'm not going in we, here. We're not trying to unalive ourselves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I like that word, unalive. Who's that person? He's strong enough. You don't go alive. He's strong. You have to be strong walking in these hills. Oh, yeah. And feet. Oh, that's what he's doing. He's much more than all. He always is a little over. Yeah, refurbishing down here. So we have a... I'm not sure. I'm here for a while, Charmaine. So we have a surfing competition. That's where the youngster used to compete. Uh -huh. it happens here. It's called the Barbados Soup Bowl. Uh -huh. And it happens usually every November. That's when the ocean is at her most violent. Ooh. And look, in front of us is Barbados's oldest restaurant. The round one. The round it's called the Round House. Oh, the rugs. Um, this restaurant was opened in 1834. I don't know what the change is signed for. They had a sign here giving you the year. Oh, the blue sign. Look at the blue sign. Look at the oh. year. And it has a canon too. 1832. 1832 roundhouse yes. with a canon. So this restaurant is older than the Parliament of Canada. You understand? We are an old country. Look at this. Beautiful stuff, but you don't swim. You so right here, so right here is where the guys do the surfing. Uh huh. In the baby pool, like. So the thing to remember, Lynn, is if you see surfing out here, right? Yeah. You do not mistake that as an invitation to go for a swim because surfers they aren't normal people. They are risk takers. They're crazy, yeah, you don't want to go in there. You mean that girl there? Yeah? Oh, so they have bu public transport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This one comes from Bashiba, this place now. Or there's one from here to Bershka. So this is Bathsheba proper, welcome. All these rocks used to be white before uh -huh. they turned dark over the years. Why? That's aging, you know? Oh. If you drill into these rocks, they're chalky white in the middle. These are all coral limestone, you know? These are not, these are not volcanic. These are all, coral. it's just an outside dark skin. But have, under the rock, it's actually white. Uh, no. Have it's a soap opera. Yeah, I've heard of it. That little house back there on the left, on that rock. Which one? Oh, it's that she can look. Which house? Back there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. The ball and the beautiful part of that movie was filmed right there. In that house? Yes. Yeah. So was it a house that fell apart? No, it was just... It used to be like a bathroom facility. Oh. Years ago. Okay. But the Bully Beautiful is a soap opera. Yeah, it's a series. It. I'm yeah. part of it. You watch the apartments? Uh, not anymore. Because, time. yeah, exactly. Job takes a lot of time. <laughs> That's true. I've heard that there's a scientific test that the more so apartments you watch, right? The more brain cells you lose. Really? Yeah. So you should really watch them. So here is another popular stop for Barbadians. Picnic in here. Oh, so people come here for picnic. Yes, there's the bar. This smart beach. Yeah, this is one of the big picnic spots. I know. Let me ask Lisa a book. Oh. 
So you can see the difference between this part of Barbados and the south. And the southwest, right? Yeah. So we have these two completely different areas. You know, that experience something that you've always desired to do. That's where we are today. And the views. Well, have a look here on the Even the countryside it's views. Look over here. Yeah. The hill. It's really a nice view as well. Yeah, I see it. Oh my goodness, so beautiful and green. So you you would have seen you see the hair. Oh yeah. You can't see the whole point, right? Here the point. Oh I would love to take You can take one, but yeah. you can get up and take a picture right yeah. here by the restaurant. Right. If you want, you can get yeah. up and get a picture on that ledge there by the benches. Right mm -hmm. there. Yes, we are here at Bashiba and from here before at the Cherry Tree Hill we were looking across the view to the eastern side and yeah. from here at Bashiba now we're looking across to the northern side. Oh, so we came from somewhere? So we came from across, if you see like a point yeah, like up, up there, yeah. that's the area we were at when we were in Cherry Tree Hill. Oh. Yes. Wow. So that's the like Grenade Hall, from... that's the Grenade Hall signal point uh -huh. in St. Peter. And that's, if you look really good, you will see the little hill that we came down all the way down the bumpy hill. Oh, yeah, I see. Yes, yeah, so that's where we came down from Cherry Tree Hill. So now we are looking from the east side onto the northern side and the point over there that will be the most northern point on the island that's saint lucy oh yes all right all right these are like the views from you know those views i can't believe so you can't get it any better this is breathtaking thank you so yeah. much for this experience yeah this you're most like welcome those views that you see in photos you know we see them if I had a drone, it would have even been oh, amazing. Oh, most definitely. Yeah, but yeah. I'm looking at it from this higher point. Like, how you see it up here is different compared when you're down there. Driving. Definitely. Yeah. So you can't beat this. So you are fortunate to have experienced this today. So lucky. You're so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> are. Some words. Let me yeah. take some photos. Please go follow me on Facebook and Instagram if you want to see the photos and videos from these adventures. This is where we are at right now. And I've been pointing out things to you again from here. You can still see the sleeping giant. Yeah, I can see the and sleeping giant. We like to be a bit facetious here sometimes. You know, if you look into the stones or the rocks, so we call them in the water here at Bathsheba, mm -hmm. you can see this first formation looks like a turtle. This uh -huh. first one here resembles a turtle. If you oh. look further ahead, it looks like a frog that's looking out to sea. It looks like, oh yeah, oh. I can see the frog. And then the you can one. see the, the third one is the frog. Yes, and then you can see the Nubian queen looking inside. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so it's what the eye sees, yeah? It's normally what the eye sees. All right, so, all right. Yeah. Oh, so I've noticed everywhere there's lots of signs of ram and all that. So which is the most popular ram? Oh, the Mount Gay. Monkey. Mount Gay. Oh, Mount Gay. Yes. Oh, okay. I've seen it actually. Some That's other people popular. might say otherwise, but yeah. for me, it's the Mount Gay. Yeah, I've seen yeah. the signs everywhere. The Mount Gay sign. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we we'll continue with the adventure. I've been on in Valley, Valley, and Tula, 
and that's why they put this to save the expense. Uh, if you don't do this, this will get destroyed too quickly. But we used to keep straight ahead before. Am I right? It's better that way. It's better you save it yeah. other than to make a whole new road again. Correct. But this is a new road that was created because the other one was impassable. There was a bridge that got broken. So they had to create this one. Ooh, is this a forest reserve? I'm sorry? It's not a reserve, it's just forest area. So who owns the land here? I'm not sure. Well, I believe the government... So I can come and clear some and build my house? Yeah. There's Joe's River on the left, right? Yeah. So beautiful, and the air here is so fresh. It's changing though, it seems like we're gonna get some rain. This hill is called Horse Hill. I don't know why. Talk about cats, Brattle. guy here at Barbados had an attorney general in the U.S., Eric H. Holder. Uh-huh. He was an American attorney general. Oh. He's he was not Bajan. Bajan. He's Barbadian. Yeah. So you can say Barbadian or Bajan? Barbadian you can say or Bajan. Bajan. Oh, Barbadian. Bajan is just if you said Barbadian very quickly and left in other words, you're Barbadian. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh Barbadian. Barbadian. So you're Barbadian. Okay. Really. Just a way of saying it very quickly. And you'll notice all of here has the red colored soil. All of here. Good for farming. Some crops. Yes, it's, it's fertile. We can turn it in. Red it is over here. Nice and red. Yeah. That's 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 what I have on my farm. Yeah. In fact my farm is located in a place called Red Hill. Yeah. And it used to be British who used to stay there. They took the best parts of the country. As they normally do. And kick locals out of the area. Oh sure. Going to two to two thirty is the last. What is this? 2 to 2 30 is the last seating. 2 until 2 30 is the last seating and 2 30 gone. 2 30 just gone. You know, check that there, right? Because I could only check it when I see the same mark peg farm. Maybe we're making any sense when going any further today. What's up? No, very sure she was thinking there's no more, it's closed. Where we're going is closed. Yes. Yeah, it's closed. Where are we going? To a place called Peg Farm. We were going to a place called Peg Farm. What's what's a Peg Farm? It is um a restaurant. Oh. Restaurants are not that frequent out here. Oh, okay. But it is the location is nice because it overlooks that same Atlantic view. Uh -huh. Yes, on a hillside, and it looks like a farmhouse. Oh, and all their meats are raised there on the farm. Oh, that's beautiful. Even even where you came to pick me, like still, like there's no high walls almost everywhere. Be nowadays, where you are staying was once considered an area where all whites lived. 
are. Yes, and probably still most whites live out there. But the other thing too is Barbados are rate of homicide is very low compared to many other countries. This used to be one of our sugar factories here on the right. This one closed in 2013. No longer working. No, this was one of the two last working ones. This one closed before the only one we have now. one of our inner parishes we have two inner parishes without beaches st george being one of them oh so st george has no beach it's an inner parish i've been mean, staring at area yonder you know you don't realize these things was real till you start till you hear it and when you drive you're seeing them yep. you know if you didn't see that it, it won't pick up in way you don't see them? No, just oh. see can't be spot the trees here, that's it here. Oh. Mm. That's happens sometimes. You can be a black spot, you don't see it. Never seen this type of sugar cane that has like a bamboo like shoot on the top. That's supposed to be a good one. There's an aircraft going in there now, further ahead. You might not see it by the time we look down though. Because it might be going, it might be dipping all the way. You see it, Glenn? Uh -huh. Straight ahead over that tree there, you see it. So you were on the inaugural North Flight. Yes, that, yeah, that was right. it. So I heard you saying, is this the usual welcome? And I then was like, she will eventually find out that she was on an inaugural flight. <laughs> I actually saw myself on some news. Yes. On certain videos like, oh, so this is it. Yeah, it was an inaugural flight. That now start here for this season. Uh huh. So how was it? Because that's the same airline I'm traveling on. Oh, that's the same airline? Yeah. That you got that ticket for? Um like twelve hundred dollars barbados return. because you can bill return yeah because oh. you can bill that's the good thing about it if you don't want to take a carry-on bag uh -huh. you know and you don't have to pay for carry-on bag you don't want a meal going out yeah you can just take your meal coming in so that's how i built it oh because i don't really favor playing food like their mashed potato is done with like I always eat at the lounge and then I just sleep yeah so this country is beautiful everywhere yeah so this is the where some of the wealthier people might live as you can see wealthier people live here oh I thought they would prefer beach areas no 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 you have wealthy people different areas across the island have the wealthy people Oh, there seems to be an event here. Tourism area. Seems to be yeah, an event here. This is where we used to send signals using flags and mirrors before we had radio, that kind of thing. Oh. And we have six of these stations in Barbados, and this is the best maintained of all these six. Oh, a wedding. Oh. There's a wedding or something. So go in here. Yeah, some of them have weddings here. Yeah, they're setting up for a wedding or some event. I find that a lot of events are being held there now. Oh, what's what's that? That's the Gun Hill Saint. You thought you mentioned Gun Hill Signal Station to her, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's Saint Thomas and Saint. She's asking what parish? Over here. Yeah. That's going towards Saint Thomas. Saint Thomas, which is another this inner is the parish. Other parish. Oh, okay. And some of Saint James. Oh, yeah, you're looking at the south. If you look over there. Oh, the water. Yeah, that's where you're staying. Oh. 
So because we're in the middle, yeah. and the middle parts of Barbados are the higher points, you can see the ocean. Oh, there's the aircraft there. That's the second one I'm seeing. Wow. So here, pretty nice view. Enjoy right Yeah. So you're looking to Bridgetown from here? Mm-hmm. And you can see the south going all to the west. So going to the right is Bridgetown. That's Bridgetown there. Yeah. And going to the left is where the south area is there. There's a landmark down here that you can go and get a picture. It's a lion. Mm -hmm. and it has a red ball. The lion is supposed to be the British Empire. I don't. And the ball is the earth. Uh -huh. So it is a symbol that the British Empire can be ruling the earth. So this climb, I'm over the road. I'm not going to endorse that. Well, it was what they were the British, and they used to rule the world. You know? Side of the island. South side of the island. We're here at the try. famous Chefet restaurant. Chefet, the KFC version of Barbados. Be careful. I was told I need to try something I've forgotten. There's something I was told. What did you say? Roti. I, the what, roti, which is like your chapati. What else is uh, here at? Well, here for Chefet, it is like if you want to try the roti, it's okay. like your chapati, but it's with a filling, which has potato with chicken or with beef. Or you can get plain chicken, 
plain beef, you know, or one okay. without me at all. The chicken. All right. So you can try the We're chicken. Trying That's the chicken. Chicken. Roti. And this is beef. That's the beef. Yeah, it's marked. Oh, oh, it's actually marked. Yeah. So beef roti. Chicken roti. Chicken and. In, potatoes. Yeah, and it's in like a chapati style dough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's Mobi. Mobi. Yeah. So and you Mobi. can try the Mobi, see if you like it. Let me start with Other... Mobi. <laughs> <laughs> Failing that. I like it. It's bittersweet. Remember, it's bittersweet, so it's an acquired taste. It's like medicine. <laughs> Cough syrup? <laughs> you know cough syrup? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> it's, that's why I said to you, it's an acquired taste. Yeah? You like it? Yes, we do. Bajans, we like more. But this is a better version mm -hmm. than if you boiled it at home. Oh, if you, you make it at home? No, if you boiled it at home from the bark. Mm -hmm. It's gonna taste worse than this. Oh really? Yes, it's gonna be very bitter. But this one here is sweeter because it has more like a syrup type version. This is a syrup. Yeah. So I'm going for pineapple. <laughs> I tasted it. It tastes like initially the taste is sweet. Yeah. The bitter it, behind it. Yeah, it's like um, cough syrup when you are a child. I don't know if you know it. <laughs> So, I always tell people it's an acquired taste, so be very careful ordering this if you're not accustomed to that. Yeah, but it's good to try and know. Yeah. So, the person who recommended me to try a local drink at Chaffet, <laughs> <laughs> I've disappointed you. <laughs> It's hot. Mm -hmm. mm. But the chapati is a bit different to your chapati. Yeah, this one is not fried. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is put on the towel as well. But this is lighter. With no oil? Yeah, that's how this is done. It's the same dough put onto the towel. Well, you put yours in a pan. We say a towel, but you know, it's put on a towel, turned. This is the same thing. Wow. But it's just a lighter version. See. All right, so let's enjoy our meal. I'll see you later. I love their roti. Well, so we come to the end of this adventure thanks to this amazing lady here. Thank you so much for the experience. You're most welcome. Thank you for today. I really enjoyed it. Enjoyed the meal. Enjoyed everything. You giving me a great impression of Belgian people. Oh, okay. Very hospitable. Very kind. Very friendly. Like, thank you so much. It was my pleasure. That was an expensive experience. Yeah. <laughs> I would have paid so much to go around the country like that. Most I know definitely, that. Yes. yeah. So thank you so much. You're going to be marking the end of this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you wanna tell us anything? Anything you wanna say? It was a pleasure having you out with me today. Yeah. You know, and consider, mm -hmm. you know, calling on me anytime. Uh -huh. I'm available to take you out, or you know, once I'm available. Yeah. And to you guys out there, go subscribe. See this wonderful video that is coming up. Do you have social media? Would you want to put up? a link on your social medias? Or? I don't have a YouTube channel. Uh -huh. You know, I'm just Tysels or Rosita. All oh, you know, right, on, on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay. So I'll do that. So I'm going to put a link to her Instagram. Go check it out. She has some amazing food there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so see you on the next episode. Bye bye. Is there a way you say bye, goodbye here in Barbados? Just bye. Or All see right. ya. All right, see ya. <laughs> <laughs>